Hi Pisces, welcome to the end of April. I'm getting the feeling that you don't know who makes you happy. I mean, yeah, I am gonna use this stack away. So, um, I feel like you don't know who makes you happy and I feel like a Leo is tempting you one way or another. Maybe it could just be a friend, but I don't know. I feel like Leo's tempting you to do something or to like, I don't know. Some weird stuff came out when I was shuffling for you. <laughs> okay. Universe, can I get a spread? Can I get a spread for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the end of April? Universe, can I get a spread for Pisces? Take that one. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. This could be you. You could be working really hard. You could be dealing with the Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I don't know. Immediately, I kind of got that energy from you. Like, maybe you are got a lot of hours of work. Or maybe you're just doing a lot. Maybe you're focused on your money right now. Anyways, can I get more for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Knight of Cups. Okay, so maybe Earth signs make an offer to you. Could be a fire sign. Oh, hello. Okay. Could be done with Capricorn. Judgment. Okay, so I feel like this is going one or two ways. You could be holding on to a Capricorn. It, mm, okay. So... Maybe a earth sign is trying to make an offer to you and you're trying to judge your situation on if you want to do that. I also have the six of swords here. So I'm noticing the moon in the background of the six of swords. So I think you're wanting to move towards something. I'll clarify these, but yeah, you're wanting to move towards something that is more calm and more harmonious than what you're currently in. And you're trying to make the judgment on whether do you go or do you stay. I mean, I'll know more about this devil once I clarify it. But, like, I'm not necessarily getting a, a toxic energy from it. I'm just getting, like, you're dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with an Aquarius because I just noticed the star in the back of this card. Okay. Universe, can I get more for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, sign. Ooh, hello, Leo. Yeah, definitely a Leo could be somewhere in your mix. Maybe a Leo's giving you advice. Ooh, death card in reverse. Okay, yeah, so something's not ending. Could be dealing with Scorpio, but something is not coming to an end because I feel like you're uncertain on whether you want to end it. Cool. Universe, can I get three more cards for Pisces? Okay, take that one, Hermit. Oh, okay, Queen of Cups, so. Yeah, this could be you here. By the end of the month, you could be offering your cup to somebody else or taking an offer. Or maybe by the end of the month, you just come back into your energy. You just come back to feeling like yourself, your loving, careful self. You know, I don't know, because at the beginning of the month, if this is you, Queen of Pentacles, you are focused on the money. Shit. But yeah, with this Hermit card here, I definitely feel like you're going inside yourself for an answer. We'll figure out what that means. Okay. Yeah, you're very uncertain about whatever the situation is. Interesting. Can I get more? Okay. Oh, all right. So maybe by the end of the month, you end up being single. Okay. Yeah, this earth sign is your soulmate. Because they're, they're showing up again. This earth sign is definitely your soulmate. But I feel like there's a lot of burdens here. And maybe a lack of progress with something. Or maybe the progress is just going slow. Or maybe... I don't know. Yeah, there's a... Okay. The Earth sign could be standing their ground on something. So, which could be slowing down the progress of something. Okay. Hmm. Hey, guys, why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. Okay. They could be telling you something. Page of Swords. Some truthful news. Maybe not the best news, but it's the truth. Okay. Universe wise, the page of swords here with the Queen of Pentacles. What's this news? <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe a fire sign broke your heart or broke their heart. Because the news is about a Queen of Wands here. It could be that Leo I'm talking about. Or maybe a Leo gave you news about something. Can you clarify the Queen of Wands with the page of swords? 
Be very square about the page. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Communication, eight of wands. Maybe you haven't got this news yet. Yeah, uh, it could be news about an offer. Maybe somebody else likes you. Maybe this fire sign likes you too. Hmm. But yeah, you're here standing your ground. You don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay. What's the Nine of Cups universe? What's it, why is the Nine of Cups here? What's this offer? Hey, two of cups. Okay, yeah. So this earth sign or this fire sign could be your soulmate. I know that's helpful, right? Shit. I feel, yeah, it's it's up to you. You decide which one. You have to go within yourself to make this judgment. Yeah, Knight of Cups again. Okay. So yeah, somebody here is your absolute soulmate, and that could be why you're confused and why you're not putting it into things because you're not sure. Okay. Clarify the double card. Universe, why is the double card here? Or, whoa, okay, so I'm also getting maybe one of these cups is toxic and one's your soulmate, and you have to decide which one is which. So if you choose the right one, nine of cups, you'll be completely fulfilled. You choose the wrong one, and you're going through a damn cycle again. That's a lot of pressure. Okay. <laughs> Universe, why is it? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so four of cups, you could be, yeah, ten of cups in reverse, so this is a Capricorn, you could be kind of discontent with this relationship right now. Or maybe you're just, yeah, you're really in deep thought about the relationship you're in with the earth sign. Why is the four of cups here? Universe, why is the four of cups here? The magician. Okay, so yeah, there's a lack of manifestation in this situation, or... There's a Gemini somewhere in the mix between you and this Earth sign. Yeah, there's a lot of Capricorn energy at the shadow side and the devil, which also represents Capricorn. So yeah, there's a lot of Capricorn energy. Hmm. Okay, yeah, and this, this magician is in reverse. So if this is a person, this is like just as toxic as the damn devil. Like, or if not worse, because they manifest just ugly things. <laughs> Shit. So, yeah, watch out. If there is a Gemini somewhere, watch out for that, because they are all the way in reverse. Oh, shit. Okay. Universe, what's this judgment card? Why is the judgment here? Yeah, this is your judgment. You've got to choose the right one. But you, the answer is within yourself. Universe, what's this judgment? What's the judgment card? Yep. Okay, well, we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, so that could that could mean something. This could be the Gemini and the Fire Sign. Yeah, you have to make a judgment between a Fire Sign, an Earth Sign, and an Air Sign. So, yeah, everybody's here. Oh, wow, yeah, for sure, because all these cards just say it. You got the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Cups in reverse, so you are discontent about what is going on right now. Hang demand, you gotta turn yourself upside down and just see whatever you're not seeing, you need to see it. <laughs> Shit. And like see the situation differently. You got the King of Pentacles. The, yeah. I would be yeah, you're dealing with the Leo. There's a third party with three cups here. You're dealing with a Leo, an Earth sign, and an air sign. However that goes, they might all be here for you or here for each other, or it's friends, or something is going on, but the Gemini is in reverse. Hmm. The Capricorn is discontent, or you're discontent with the Capricorn. And the fire sign has to tell you something. Okay, hello. That's a lot. Let me see if these cards come back out, but wow. Y'all's readings are always so interesting. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this fire sign is helping you make the judgment. But I'm also getting that it, it's within you. Could be an Aquarius somewhere. Maybe you need to have hope be more optimistic about something or see the truth like yeah this card definitely represents truth and you see the truth hmm. two of wands okay so yeah there's definitely a possible partnership we just don't know who with yet okay why is the six of swords here reverse why is the six of swords here okay that's a lot Universe, why is the Six of Swords here for Pisces? 
Mm, okay, so you could be moving towards this fireside knight of wands. You could be moving towards them and they're moving towards you. Maybe they're maybe their energy is a lot calmer than what's going on over here for sure. Yeah, you could definitely be moving towards them. Why is the death card in reverse? Yeah, I don't think you're in oh yeah. Six of Swords again. So I don't think you're ending it with this fire sign. You're not moving away from this fire sign yet. That's why the death is in reverse. You're not moving towards harmony, peaceful waters. You get more on the death card in reverse. Maybe you don't. I don't know why I'm getting that, but maybe you don't want to move at all. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, maybe you already have a home. You're already happy. You already are settled down with this earth sign and maybe that's why there's the death the card is in reverse maybe you don't want to end that yet because it'll completely cause a tower moment because maybe you'll have to move maybe yeah oh yeah definitely maybe you have to move houses maybe you guys will have to completely spit up the bank accounts the bills maybe you guys are married so like breaking up is just not like easy because you guys have built a life together so that could yeah that could definitely be why the death card's in reverse here but there are a lot of options and there is some toxic energy so you're you're still dis you're still the four cups about it you're still like hmm, maybe i should leave anyway but it's gonna be a lot you're gonna have to completely tear down the whole foundation that you have worked hard to build hmm. and i was just gonna clarify the hermit and did the hermit okay so yeah definitely this answer is inside of you you know who like it's like the first person that pops in your mind or pops into your heart you're just like that's who you need to go with hmm. universe what's the queen of cups knight of swords yeah you're watching all of these people you're observing you're watching and you're trying to make a mental decision when really it's not a mental decision it's your intuition because maybe it looks really good to stay with this earth sign or whoever it looks really good it's very practical it's smart to stay with this but like your heart is saying uh, -uh. you need to make a different decision because you won't be happy with the nine of cups here you won't be happy hmm. okay Let's clarify the nine of cups oh hi yeah, you're gonna get a truth about who makes you happy for sure with the ace of swords Let's clarify the nine of cups universe why is the nine of cups here yeah, page of cups in reverse, so. Ooh, yep, in the world, and the ace of cups. So yeah, there's a plan here, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, you have the lover's card, the five of swords, and the ace. so somebody is planning on making a love offer and starting a cycle with you. Yeah, you just gotta use your intuition on if you want to accept it. Okay, let me get some advice for Pisces, good lord. <laughs> Shit. Right. Can I get some advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Ace of Earth, okay. I'm, I'm getting it from this card, go for the new. Go with new. Because it will be abundant. Like, maybe you're scared you're going to lose your abundance. You'll be abundant regardless. But it'll actually be even more abundant because not only will you have money and stability, you'll also be happy. So, shit. Can I get more advice for Pisces? Maybe there's not more advice for Pisces. So I mean, right, oh, hi. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Go for the new, because it's going to be absolutely, yeah, you're going to go right from this nine to the ten. So, yeah, definitely. Go with the new. Think about things differently. Be happy. Shit. And, yeah, definitely with the Hermit card, clarifying the Hermit, go within yourself. Could be dealing with the Virgo, but definitely, um, the answers within you follow this this light follow this little light that this nigga's following just follow shit okay so i hope this was helpful and enjoy your april